Yo, what's going on guys? Arix here. Welcome back to another video for Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak. And today I want to talk about the Charge Blade, my second son, the big sword and shield, if you will. Another one of my favorite weapons and a weapon that is fantastic in Sunbreak. Charge Blade has gone through various different forms over the years. And of course in Rise, while there were definitely some cool new additions, it also, I feel, got a little bit overlooked because, you know, some of the sort of damage values, especially on things like SAEDs, didn't necessarily seem to hit as, uh, as we have known them in the past. But in Sunbreak, Charge Blade is nuts. Whether you are using elemental charge blade, status charge blade, whether you're just having some fun with some of the new moves, honestly, it is kind of crazy. So today, I want to do, much like we have been recently, talk about the charge blade, why I like it so much, and some of the new stuff. So if you guys do enjoy this, a like would be super appreciated. Comment down below if you have any questions. Let me know what you guys think of charge blade. Have you been having fun with it? And of course, don't forget to keep it locked for plenty more. So to begin with, of course, charge blade top level, it has always been known as a pretty technical weapon since of course it revolves around using the sword mode to gather files and then of course using the axe mode to expel them in a variety of different ways. It has a multitude of different play styles and is a guard focused weapon that rewards split second counter windows during of course select animations known as guard points. We know all this already. However, in Sunbreak they buffed the damage across the board which is always very, very welcome. They added three dope new skills that make it even more fun and those are ready stance, air dash and firing pins. So let us talk about those. Ready Stance again is the one that I feel like in a very similar manner to the Lance when I spoke about sort of the uh, new guard move, the guard advance, how uh, in the trailer we kind of sort of shrugged it off as like, eh, it looks all right. And same thing happened in the weapon preview for the charge blade. They didn't really make Ready Stance look that great until we got hands on with it. And then we were like, oh my gosh, this thing is incredible. At its most basic form, it is essentially a very cheap guard point that can be thrown in at the end of any animation. Guard points historically have always been things that are worked into very specific animations, so in order to use them you would need to anticipate the move coming your way and ensure you're performing the right move that ends in a guard point. Ready Stance is basically just press this button, you have a guard point. It is hella useful, and while on paper it is similar to counter peak performance, it actually does allow for much more freedom. Since counter peak performance you can only act on after being hit, whilst Ready Stance can be cancelled out of into additional moves whenever you like. One of the strongest moves it can be cancelled into is the Axe Elemental Discharge, which can be cancelled into itself on repeat. Combined with the Spinning Slash, aka the Pizza Cutter, this opens up some incredible damage output. It's basically like a quick animation reset in certain situations, which allows for some uh, rather nutty damage output. There are of course some drawbacks, it's not all like perfect, because of course, you know, if you use this over something like Counterpeak Performance, you do lose out on say the instant files. But to be honest, if you're running things like Load Shells or Focus, that's not really an issue because building Files doesn't normally take that long and the trade-off you get for just the sheer versatility is well well worth it so honestly ready stance is fantastic you also have air dash which is just a really cool move sometimes moves are amazing sometimes they're amazing for damage sometimes they're best in slots other times they're just hella cool air dash is dope it gives you an uppercut which of course hits the monster twice on the way up and you can then also unleash a file at the top which propels you away from the monster and you can of course direct this different angles to sort of uh, put you where you want to to a degree so it is pretty stylish it's also really good for roars because it has built-in knockback prevention meaning you can tank some strong hits too and it also does mad mounting damage so if you really want to work towards those mounts you can of course get those uh, wyvern rides then it's also very very good again maybe not necessarily going to be a best in slot and of course out of some of the available options you might not necessarily always go towards this but regardless it is a really really cool move i like moves that just give you hella style and then we have the firing pin which is definitely a really really interesting one this allows for explosions from the charged sword to be detonated but only in axe mode so of course when you have condensed element slash in the past you would then basically go and sheath your sword into your axe and of course when you hold it you then get the charge on your sword which allows your sword attacks to inflict the file damage relevant to the type of file on your charge blade it's a very useful move i've had this for quite a while and it's something you definitely want to work into your combat but this time around these will instead allow for the charge to basically be left on the monster which definitely does have a lot of rather useful use cases because then you know in situations where otherwise you might have moved if it's stuck to the monster you kind of can't miss with this thing. If you miss with it, uh, then we probably need to have words. And you might wonder why you want this one, because of course it does, you know, sometimes mean that your damage is delayed or put elsewhere but one of the reasons for this is of course is because of the damage increase it means you're more likely to flinch or stun the monster due to the fact that you're releasing all of this in one go especially if you think of it in the great use case of impact type charge blades you stack a load of this on the monster's head switch to axe mode for the detonation and then bam all in one place these things are detonating whereas of course if you think about it conversely sometimes those can be spread into wider areas so while it will take some getting used to this definitely is fantastic if you can set it up correctly 
It also has the added bonus that it keeps you in the condensed element slash for longer if you have successful pin procs. So it all works quite uh, synergistically. Overall though, Charge Blade just is hella cool. And of course it works very nicely with some of the new armor skills as well, especially Chain Crit, Charge Master, some of those sort of late game set bonuses. These can be really, really nice. But overall, been having a bunch of fun with this weapon. Honestly, every single weapon in Sunbreak just feels hella fun to use. That's why we're working our way through them and just having fun with basically everything the game has to offer. But for the time being, that is pretty much it. Let us know in the comments down below how you guys are finding Charge Blade. Let me know if there are things that you like, things you don't like. And of course, if you have missed some of our recent videos, be sure to check out one of these ones and keep it locked for plenty more.